Hello and welcome to another video. In this one I want to talk about contemporary art, but please don't leave, please stay with me. Um, so I want to show how to add sculptures in particular to OpenStreetMap and then I'll talk about why it's useful to do that. So I have been surveying around the Butler Gallery in Kilkenny today. I had already added the one of the new cat sculptures, the Pangroban ones, but there are more. The museum opened, I think, last year, the gallery. Um, it had been in the castle, in Kilkenny Castle, in the basement before, but it has its own fancy new building now. And anyway, there are three sculptures around it, as far as I could see. And I've chosen to focus on this one here because the artist has a wiki data number. The other two don't. But I want to do really micro mapping in this one. And I need the wiki data for that. So what I did, I used Street Complete. I walked around and I added the point there, roughly where the sculpture is, and added the artist's name, the title of the artwork, and the material, which is all on the sign, the label, that I thought I had taken a picture of. I haven't. You should do that always, because then you get a link here and you can click it and you can see what's on the picture. But I have written down everything that I could find on the label, apart from her uh, birth date and death date, but they're on Wikidata, so no loss there, thank God. So anyway, I have the map notes layer open so I can see all the notes on openstreetmap.org and it will open a new window to work to add those sculptures. Well, the sculptures are already there, they're these little brown thingies here, but to add a bit more detail to them and I can turn the map notes layer off here and uh, as I said I'm logged in with my username I can't go into that now I have done videos about that and I'll click edit and zoom in on this sculpture here so it has three um, that's wrong um, it has two um, tags already and I'll go over to wiki.openstreetmap.org to show you what you can add for artwork. So the main tag is tourism equals artwork. That's just the convention. Maybe amenity equals artwork would have been another opportunity to put. It's tourism artwork now. And then you get all these sub tags that you can add. So you have artwork type. In this case, it's a sculpture. And somebody, I presume me, has already added that. And then you also have statue or mural, and I will talk about murals later on. And then you can add the artist name, artist underscore name. I'll do that, artist underscore name. And I'll just, just in case I get it wrong, I'll just copy it from here and paste it there. So the next one we can do is artist wiki data copy that here, uh, wrong window, and I've looked that up already. So you just type in the name of the artist and then if they have a name like John Murphy, um, you might have to look for John Murphy in brackets, Irish artist or visual artist or something like that. There's only one Janet Mullarney on Wikidata, so that was easy enough and she happens to be a visual artist, so I presume that's her. Also the life dates um, match. So I can just copy that Q number into there. Then let's go on. The title of the artwork is Byzantine. So I can add that in the name. And uh, then uh, image link. I don't have that bot. I have uploaded a photograph to Wikimedia, which is here. So I can just um, copy this URL and add Wikimedia Commons and then just paste the URL and it has to start with the file colon and then the title of the artwork. Uh, next one then, image material, yep. As I said, this is going to be micro-mapped. 
material and I have that in the notch. It is Indian black granite. It's very precise. And the next one then height. I didn't measure that. Wikidata. And this is only for the, the Wikidata for this sculpture. I don't think there is one. If there is an inscription, you could add that. There isn't one there. Um, heritage, no description. Um, I won't do that. Artwork subject. Um, I'm just going to show you what happens if you put that into OpenStreetMap. It doesn't apply here. It gives you an option of figurative, religious, abstract genre, animal, lion, cat, blah, 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 blah. Um, so sometimes when you do a um, wayside shrine, you know, one of those Blessed Virgin Mary ones that you see in the corner of a, of a road, um, you can use artwork subject religious there. I might do a video about that at some point. Um, and the cat ones, I presume that's because I mapped all the Kilkenny catwalk cats there. Unless someone is really mad into mapping cat sculptures. Wouldn't blame them. So um, I think that's all I can add for now. Let's go back here. Subject Wikidata. Well, there are two, ar two arms. I'm, I'm not gonna put the Wikidata for arms in there. Um, yeah. And I can save that. Um, I'll just go back. So I can resolve this note now because I'm finished with that one. Added details to art work, sources, notes, survey, and upload. So if I refresh the page now, they should show the names of the... Did I forgot to put the name in there? Hmm. Well, it shows it here, flight number two and here. Um, so that's, a, that's progress. Um, now, of course, you can't see all the data that's in there. You can only see that there is artwork there. And if someone has put a name in, you can see the name. But you can make all of what we've just put in visible um, in your browser on openstreetmap.org. If you click on the layers and instead of map notes, you tick the map data. And it gives you all the different things that have data. And you can click on one of those. And I do seem to have forgotten to put in the name of the sculpture. I thought I had put that in. Anyway, so um, what you see, we have artist, wiki data, artwork, type, and so on. And then we have the Wikimedia Commons. And if I click on that link, it should open the file and you can see it. That's quite something. And you could also click on the Wikidata link and it opens Janet Mularney's Wikidata page, which looks very technical. But it's there, so it's a, it's, it's a good thing. So what's the point of, of doing that? Well, everything you add to OpenStreetMap makes the map better, um, be it addresses or shops or art. And it'll help people to um, orient themselves on the map and find art. It's as simple as that. But let's say you want to look for um, a certain artist. And of course, this is presuming we live in an ideal world where every art is, is mapped and with all the right tags. So let's look at graffiti murals, because it's more likely that there's a lot um, of the same artist around. So we have two pretty well-known um, well, that I know, I'm not that, uh, that great with graffiti, but there's at least two, let's put it that way, two um, well-known graffiti artists, Inkle Kenny, Dan Leo and Mick Minogue. And um, I have mapped some of their art and their murals. There's one here. This is a Dan Leo one. And then there is one here. That's a Mick Minogue one. And... If you want to look for just the artwork from that one artist, you can use overpassturbo.eu. And I've already run the, um, the search. Well, I'll just show you again how to do it. So you open the wizard and that's an old search. And you type in artist 
underscore name equals and then in quotes make enog in let's not just look in Kilkenny and um, just click build query and you can delete the lines for a relation and for a way because they're most likely just nodes and I'll zoom out because he's done I think he's done stuff in Waterford um, and I'll run this query. All these these four I have added so I, I have to rely on other people having added his work in other places with the artist name and I'll run that. Okay nobody has done that. Um, I'll zoom in again on this one, the wolf, because I actually watched him do that. Um, so we have I thought I had added his wiki data because I had asked Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Um, I asked her to add a wiki data entry for Mick, and now I've forgotten to add it to OpenStreetMap. But Mick has also done one of the cat sculptures for the Kilkenny catwalk, and it's in Cakeface. And I've done a bit more mapping for all the cats, so loads of uh, fourteen tags for each one of them. And we have the artist wiki data here. I'll just open that in a new tab. So we have Mick Minog, there's his number, and Irish artist and art teacher. And some entries here where half of the ones I, I don't really know what they mean. And we can also click on the Wikimedia Commons link to see what the artwork looks like. Roughly like that. I took that picture today. And yeah, and because we have um, artist name there, we can search for all the artwork that is under his name on OpenStreetMap. And we could also look for just the cats, for example. I'll show you how to do that. Artwork underscore subject equals cat. And I'll just look in Kilkenny. And again, I'll delete those lines that um, won't apply anyway, because that'll shorten the search. And run that. There we go. Um, so I found 20. One of them is um, touring. It's um, stage hog. Um, and I've tried to add as much information as I could find. Um, so there's those 20. Um, yeah, but, but they're, most of them are on the map now. And that's nice as long as you're sitting on the computer and um, you can have, you have a mouse and stuff like that. Um, and you can make a trail like that. And um, if you have a new exhibition for a new, if you're a creator in a museum, in a gallery, and you're creating a new exhibition with a visual artist, a sculptor, or a graffiti artist, and you want to give your visitors a map of all the the art that this artist has done already. If you could rely on people adding them all onto OpenStreetMap, you could just rely on that data and just harvest the data like here um, and create a map for free because it's all open data and um, that's great. Um, if you are on the go on your phone and you want to find art, you can do that as well. Of course, again, it has to be mapped on OpenStreetMap. Um, and I'll show you two examples here relating to Dan Leo and Mick Minogue. So I'm using the app Osmand here, uh, which is an Android app. And uh, you can zoom in on wherever you think there is artwork and that their icon looks different than the one on OpenStreetMap. And then you can scroll up a little bit and it'll give you some of the information that is saved on OpenStreetMap, which of course isn't a lot. Um, for Dan Leo, that's the, some people might know that uh, graffiti there with the pheasant. But at least it has the artist's name there. And if I had added more before, it would be there. So if I was looking for um, Mick Minogue's mural, there's one in St. Mary's Lane there 
which is called Wolf, and that's the one that I watched him do. So I have the start date because I happened to walk around there. So I, I scroll that up and you see the title and the artwork type, the start date, and the artist's name. And there could be more if, if I had added more. And I hope I have given you a bit of food for thought about uh, why it is important to map art and who can use it and how to do it. Of course, that's the main thing, how to do it. And hopefully I'll see more murals mapped in the future. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Slán!